Hello Pisces and welcome to your spiritual awakening videos. So Pisces, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller, deeper reading. Pisces, remember to also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day. Also, these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, as that will resonate with someone else who's watching this video. So, Pisces, we are starting off this reading with a major arcana card. This major arcana card here is of the Empress. So, as you can see, Pisces, this is you going through some changes. This is you really bringing in that energy of nurturing. So you are being gentle with yourself as you transition through this period that you're currently going through. This card is all about manifesting, it's all about healing, it's all about abundance. I love this card because not only are you growing in abundance, you are also preparing to bring something out into the world. So this card to me is indicating that as you have gone through this journey of awakening spiritually, you've also taken the time to look after yourself, to nurture yourself, to sit with yourself because you are realizing that you are going to be a very different person. You are growing into something incredible. And that something incredible means that you have to take the time out to pause. You have to take the time out to connect intuitively to the divine, to see that this thing that you're creating, that you're bringing out into the world is for the good of all involved. Because Pisces, we are leaving your era now and we are transitioning over to, to Aquarius, a new era. And a new era is all about the good of all involved. In Pisces, it was about me, myself and I, right? It was about collecting and growing wealth. But now, the age of Aquarius is about community, it's about if that person is not okay, I'm not okay. We're seeing as the world is changing, we're caring more about the environment, we're caring more about who is making the clothes I am wearing. And hang on a minute, are they being paid well enough? Are they being treated well? So now we are going through that energy that we're realizing that we can't take advantage of other people because we are connected. Our energies are connected. So if the garment that I'm wearing, if that person was making it, was miserable and was not happy, how am I allowing that to carry on? So as we're going to go forward, we're going to see that the children that we're bringing out into the world now and the younger kids now are going to start asking more and more harder questions to corporations, to companies because they are realizing, as we are realizing as adults, that energy transmutes, energy carries on. And if I am supporting a business and a company that thinks it's okay to take advantage of other people, then what does that say about me? As we are going forward, as you are going forward, you are going to start using your money wisely. You are going to start using your money to vote on what companies you want to grow, you want to carry on in the new era of Aquarius that we're going on to. You're realizing that your money makes a difference and where you spend your money is enabling a behavior, is enabling companies to take advantage of other people. So if it means that you save up to buy that 
garment that's ethically sourced, that's ethically grown. How is that cotton grown in that garment? Is it ethical? Are the farmers taken care of? Is the soil, is everything taken care of? You are in that energy of really understanding the interconnectedness of everything. Because before we thought it didn't matter, but as we're going forward, the new world that is emerging here in the new era of Aquarius is going to make us question. It's going to start making us realize that perhaps local is better than damaging the environment through buying goods that come far away, all the way maybe from China. We're starting to really question and Pisces, this is really good because you are at the forefront of this new energy that's coming as you are handing over the button to Aquarius. You are saying, do a better job. This is where I failed as Pisces and I know that you Aquarius are going to do better. You're going to do better for the environment. You're going to do better for the individual. You're going to do better than we did before. And Pisces, this is an incredible message because we are seeing that the changes that you're making are going to be the changes that are going to bring growth and wealth to you. Because we're seeing that the next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a card that's all about slow and steady. Again, we were talking about the energies changing and you're realizing this. And so now you're realizing that fast fashion is dead. You are being that knight of pentacles who's really careful about where you plant your money, where you're spending your money. You're realizing where you spend your money. This is the companies that are growing bigger in the world. And you're starting to tread gently into the world. You're starting to really look after animals, look after Mother Earth, look after your own resources and realizing that your resources are important because where you're spending them is what is going to really flourish and grow in the future. Not only that, you in turn are going to grow by what you support because if you have started let's say, a new business that is ethical, that is local, perhaps, you're going to see that other people are going to come and support you because their values have also shifted. Their values have changed. And so your abundance is tied to the same ethics that you are now going to champion, now that you're going to push forward. So we're seeing that the next card is that you're realizing that if the truth be told, you are understanding that we are connected. What you allow persists and what you say no to goes away. So now you're realizing that by opening your wallet, you are spreading that love, you are spreading that joy, you are spreading that joy through the businesses that you're supporting, you are spreading that joy by supporting maybe smaller businesses so that they can grow, so that they can be able to stand upon their own two feet to support themselves and also bring wisdom to how we have always done things before. Because if the truth be told, it is time for change. And you as a Pisces, you are really understanding this and you are pushing for that change. The next card is asking you to get grounded. It's asking you to really connect with nature. And we saw with our Empress card that that was the energy of Mother A nature. That was the energy of being really natured by nature. So you're realizing that getting grounded and getting connected really boosts your, your soul 
it really boosts you and makes you feel really good. So this card is really emphasizing as much as you can to get connected with nature because connected to nature will allow you time to release negativity is going to allow you to release anything that no longer serves you because being in nature is going to allow you to have that time in solitude have that time to be connected to the divine to be connected to nature so it is time to release negativity so that you can grow and you can flourish and then you can move on to the era of aquarius with love compassion, kindness, kindness for yourself, kindness for the world, kindness for all that's involved. This card here is reminding you, Pisces, that whilst you are getting grounded and getting connected to nature, it's also reminding you to make sure that you're getting that vitamin D, you're getting that sun, that feel-good factor. So this card is saying enjoy success and happiness because the sun always makes us feel that little bit brighter it's going to make us feel that radiance and that glowing and so whatever it is that you're starting here if the energy of what you're starting what you're bringing out into the world if the energy is for the all for the good of all involved that is going to be equal to that success and that happiness because you're realizing that bringing goodness out into the world is more than just making sure that you are rich and you're connected you're connecting you're collecting all the money this is about you surrendering and realizing that your abundance and your wealth is going to come from caring for other people it's going to come from caring for the environment and really wanting to bring softness into the world so the last card that we have is talking about wait for winter. So this card is saying during the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes. As long as your intentions are for the greatest good for all. And I couldn't have ended that reading better. So that says it all. So if you are bringing out a baby into the world, I wish you all the luck because this baby could be born in our winter months and be sure to take care of yourself. Be sure to be gentle, kind, loving and soft with yourself as you are transitioning through perhaps to motherhood as you're walking and creating something new. Just remember to be gentle, to be kind and everything you're doing your intentions are always based on for the greatest good for you and also for all involved. On that note, Pisces, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and it's a goodbye.